one. I'm joined right now by Cal State East Bay head men's basketball coach Brian Rooney. Um, the Cal State East Bay is coming off a loss into the semifinals of the 2024 CCA men's basketball tournament. They fell to the number one seed, Cal State San Bernardino, 74 to 67. Coach Rooney, would just take us through your thoughts on today's game? Uh, first of all, congratulations, to San Bernardino. Uh, they're a very worthy champion. Um, uh, they earned the victory tonight. Uh, we're obviously very, very disappointed, uh, but I, I think it's very clear that we play in one of the best conferences in the country. Uh, and I thought this game was uh, worthy of an NCAA uh, regional game, uh, the quality of it. And so uh, very, very disappointed uh, in the result, uh, not disappointed in the effort. Uh, I, this has been from the first weekend, uh, we played the conference challenge down at Point Loma. Uh, just been incredibly proud every time that we've tipped up. Uh, and the, the hardest thing in that locker room is not the loss. Uh, even though that stinks, the hardest is that there's a chance this thing can be over and that we don't have practice on Monday. Uh, I just, I, I love our players um, and uh, very, very disappointed right now. Coach, I just got to talk to you a, a little bit more on that one. Just um, let's talk about a couple of sequences in the game there. Um, near the end, you guys did have quite a chance in that one. Could you talk to me, especially kind of about the last kind of minute of that game and the way that one went, it felt like both teams had a chance on that one and just the execution down the stretch. Yeah, I thought, you know, that the first half, we, we, we talked about it, we just, we thought it was just kind of clunky. Um, and so to go in at half and, and for us to be tied, we actually felt we were in a pretty good spot. Um, we didn't play our best basketball. It's obviously the third time that we played them. And so we're very familiar with each other. And so we said, hey, 20 minutes of basketball, uh, let's go. And, um, I thought that um, the rebounding was really, I think, where the game was won on there. They did a phenomenal job on the offensive on the boards. Uh, but, you know, it, it has kind of been one of the characteristics of our team is we just keep fighting. We just keep going. And, uh, you know, we got that steal there. We were down by five. We had a layup right at it. And uh, maybe that thing goes in, this thing gets to one possession game. Um, and there was a time, I think we were down nine. Um, we made a run and then we got it back. Um, I thought, okay, this might be a turning point. I thought if we if we could have taken the lead there, it would have gotten really interesting. Um, and so, again, disappointed in the result, but not disappointed in our fight uh, and the effort that our group had. Very, very proud of that. You mentioned the, the third time playing against San Bernardino. How difficult is it to, to beat a team three times in the same season? Well, you know, I, I think that's, that's obviously talked a lot about in sports. Um, I, I really, and we talked about this yesterday, uh, you know, when we were playing Chico State, it's each game is its own life. Um, and so we, you learn from the first two games and you play somebody twice, you learn from the first time you play them. Um, and so I don't, you know, they, they earned the victory tonight. I don't think they won because we beat them the first two times. Um, so yeah, it's, it's tough. I mean, I, I think it's, it was tough to beat them the first two times, right? And it was tough to beat them tonight. And just didn't go uh, our way. Um, but again, I, I look at it, the, the CC2A, uh, year in and year out, but especially this year, I think on the women's side as well, but uh, both sides, just some high level basketball. Um, and just very, uh, just proud to be part of it. Uh, proud to be uh, with our group, most importantly. Quite a number of turnovers in the first half. Is that a, an attribute to the level of intensity tonight? Or what would you say the level of ball handling was tonight? Yeah, I think that's the strength of both teams defensively. I think when both of us play well defensively, uh, we're turning teams over. And so I think you saw some of that. Um, and I also think, uh, you know, I, th I think in our end, we got sped up a little bit. We tried to sometimes make plays that weren't there. And, and then that's the thing, I think, where we made our runs, we just we just kind of settled down. We just, you know, kind of relax, just get in the paint, come to two feet, make the play that presents itself. And so uh, we, we wish, obviously, looking back on it, that we had – had done a better job more consistently there, but uh, you know we had we had 16 turnovers, they had 12. But again, I think one of the difference points is they had 16 assists and we had yeah. nine, um, and that's again shot creation was something we talked a lot about headed into the game, and um, they did a very good job of creating shots. And when we did, our offense worked pretty well. We just didn't do it enough, unfortunately. Coach, you brought it up. You made a quick comment on that one. You guys were the number 10 team in the regional. This latest one, you obviously this whole our 16 conference tournament featured five of those regional teams. It was a great one. If you had one more message to kind of give to the regional committee before this one, what would it be? Uh, just watch us play. Uh, you know, I think we can look at the computers and the RPI and the strength of schedule and uh, performance index. And, and some of those look really favorable uh, for teams. But I think sometimes uh, that can be lost in the numbers is just, just watch the game. 
Watch the game last night when we played Chico. Those are two NCAA tournament teams. Watch the game tonight, right? That's an NCAA tournament game. Watch the game before us, right? With Dominguez uh, and LA. Like that's who we're playing the entire year. This isn't just like one game. You have some game circle on your schedule. And so uh, in my in my opinion, and, and again, I understand I'm very biased, uh, but we're one of the top eight teams in the region. Uh, obviously a decision has to be made to include us uh, in that tournament. Uh, but uh, I'll have trouble sleeping tonight, uh, just knowing that there's a chance that we may not be together. Um, again, as a team, right? In terms of practice, getting ready for a game. Um, but I will sleep very well uh, coming in the future, just knowing the quality of men that we have in that locker room, uh, the quality of people, the quality of human beings. Um, you know, I've got, uh, I, I, they're not little anymore, right? Now they're 14 and, uh, you know, coming up on 12. And uh, that's the greatest gift that our players uh, give to me as a coach, not what they do offensively or defensively, rebounding wise, uh, not the big wins that we've had at Point Loma, uh, sweeping San Bernard regular season, big win here at, at Chico. It's how they carry themselves. It's as a dad, having the individuals in our locker room that are absolute role models uh, for my family, for my children, but they're role models for me as well on how to live their life. And so again, bitterly disappointed. Um, but I, if you told me any program, uh, any group in the country I could coach, I think those guys 10 times out of 10, uh, I love them. Thank you so much, coach. We will really be hoping for the Cal State East Bay name to come up on the selection show. That will be done this Sunday night on NCA.com. So uh, best of luck to you and best of luck to your team. Thanks a lot, Danny. Appreciate it. Thank you.